How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Razor Company uh, YouTube channel. My name is John, also known as Cape Cod Wet Shaving. Um, today I'm going to be doing a shave and chat. My first one ever. Uh, first video for this channel, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of psyched. Uh, today I will be using the Weight by First Line Shaving. The Soap and Splash, both of which are available on the Razor Company as of this filming. Um, the uh, soap is uh, $23 and the splash is $20 US. So not bad for the set. And I will also be using my Omega Bore. And this is also available on the Razor Company for $18. And it actually comes as a kit. It's the Shave Brush, Omega Shave Brush Kit. Comes with this nifty stand and it comes with the Omega Soap. So not a bad deal for 18 bucks. And the Omega soap's pretty good. I like it. So, um, so I already have some pre-shave on my face. I'm using um, Shave Secret pre-shave oil. And um, the pre-shave secret has cloven. It has a really spicy scent to it. I don't use it as often because of that. But it's a good, I like it. It's a good product. Um, it goes well with the weight. Because the weight has whiskey, tobacco, gunpowder, vanilla, and rose in it. Amongst a couple other things. And I get the little bit of the whiskey, but I definitely get the tobacco and gunpowder. I am not an expert with the scents. So I try. I've <laughs> uh, been wet shaving for coming up on two years now. So I'm relatively new to this. Um, everything's a learning curve for me. I'm very happy to be here amongst um, experts and beginners alike. So learning curve it's always a learning curve and that's one of the you know many one of the many 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 reasons i like this hobby is because there's always something around the corner or there's a different way of doing something you learn that you know um i've seen some people with their how to break in a brush videos i'll do mine at some point if if all goes well hopefully i'll be doing a video a month once a month or so, maybe more, who knows. Also, I have a YouTube channel, Cape Cod Wet Shaving, on YouTube if you want to check me out. I'm brand new to that too. I've only been doing videos for about five months. So, I would appreciate it. I'll link everything in the description. So, this soap already off the bat does not foam like I'm used to. Pro Razor, I can get foamed up, no problem. Um, Talbot shaving, some of the other stuff that Razor Company offers. Um, soaps are different. They're thirsty. They're not thirsty. Easy to whip up. Not easy. Tallow base, vegan base. So give me one second. Go ahead and get this going. I'm be using a bowl or a mug. Excuse me. Add a little bit of water. So this might be a little thin. I'm not used to first line. I've, I've only got two of their products. I got this one and their Christmas one. So, bear with me. I hope everyone's having a good uh, Thursday. We are. Kids are at school. Which is uh, always good when it comes to having time to yourself to do this. It's supposed to get snow today. So hopefully. Uh, another thing is I'm not used to having this. I, I usually don't have this and I usually don't have this. The mustache and the soul patch or whatever you want to call that. Uh, I started with Movember. Kind of liked it, stuck with it. And it's the first time I've grown a mustache being in the uh, wet shaving world where I've learned about, you know, beard stuff and skin care for facial hair and all that stuff. So I thought I'd actually keep it and try beard balms and beard oils and all that. It's been interesting. So, and I might not be uh, doing the soap justice. I don't think I am, but I don't usually do a thick lather, lather anyways. I do sometimes and I don't. Cause I don't have thick hair, so I don't really need it. I think I added too much water. But hey, it's good soap. I really like their their soap. First responder owned. 
In fact, that's what the weight is uh, based on, is some of the stuff he's, he's seen out in that world. You know, I'm sure he's seen nasty stuff, unfortunately. Like so many in that line of work are prone to do. Uh, so yeah, I want to say hi to a couple people in here. Uh, ben Soap Thing, how's it going, man? I saw a couple of your videos on uh, your Razor Company videos. I, I like your YouTube videos. But a lot of people I've seen in the community, it's kind of cool to see them on here joining their ranks. Hopefully I give some people good insights who are really new to this because I'm new to most of this and I'm undoubtedly going to make some mistakes on here. I'm not, probably not going to do things right. Hopefully there'll be people correcting me, which will then in turn help other people who are watching these. I have no problem with that. I, I get to learn along the way. You know what I mean? Like right now, I know I'm not lathering this right. Maybe the soap doesn't like bore. I don't know. I just can't get the water ratio down, I don't think. It's not bad, it's a very nice lather, I like it. It's slick, it smells very good too. Blooms very well. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I keep getting soap in my mouth though, I'm not used to having the mustache either. So far I've tasted Talbot shaving soap, I've tasted Pro Razor Red, wouldn't recommend it. A couple other ones. Don't mean to, but hey. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Parker 89R with the Parker blade in it. I only use the Parker blade once. And my skin is extremely sensitive, hence why I got into this to begin with, one of the many reasons, but that's the big one. Uh, I was finding a different product, which led me to different, you know, everyone knows that rabbit hole. Um, so what I try to do usually I'll do two passes max. I'll, I'll do three if I need to. What I try to do is two in a touch-up or even better, one in a touch-up. Um, I just shaved yesterday morning, so I'll probably only have to do one in a touch-up here. So, Which works because my videos tend to run long and I got to try to do a shorter one here. So I'm going to go with and see where we are after that. Try to keep the beard line. But, um, very humble to be here. Bunch of good people in this community. Hello to everyone who I know watching this. If you end up watching it. Anyone who's new, welcome. You're about to go off into an awesome world. And when they say rabbit hole, they're not kidding. But I noticed pretty early on, it's not just the products and the experience, it's the people. There's some really cool people here. At some point, because my wife hates this. My kids hate it. My wife hates it. I'm sorry, my sons. I have two boys and a girl. My sons like it. My daughter and my wife. I hate it. My wife hates it because I always curl it. She's always telling me that she's afraid I'm going to tire of some train tracks. Very clever. So one day this will be gone and this will be gone and I'll be shaving around here. I usually just keep the chin beard and the uh, sideburns. So I do shave more than, than this usually. One day, maybe when winter's over. Spring comes. I don't know. Ooh. Gonna get a quick sip of coffee. It's another thing you get to see. My daughter decorated that for me. Ah. All right. I'm gonna 
gonna do against the grain now. And then I'm gonna call it after that. And the splash of this stuff smells really, really good. I like it a lot. If you're new to the razor company or new to social media with the hobby, you'll start seeing a lot of giveaways, a lot of partition participation of, of artisans and companies and people who are part of it, you know, it would be quite a sight to behold. And then everyone else, can't wait for the next one. My hair grows sideways. <laughs> Windstorm, I call it. So that's the touch-up part. I usually always have to do a touch-up specifically because of that. I try to do a sickle where I go up and then over. And it doesn't always work. All right. And then what I usually do is I'll lather one last time just to get the skin food and the pores, all that. And then I'll rinse. Isn't this some crazy weather we've been having across the country, huh? Really cold in places where it's only sometimes cold, hot where it's usually supposed to be cold. For a while there, my family, they live in uh, Houston. I'm originally from Texas and talking to my mom. She's getting weather for a while. But we were supposed to get, we had rain. They actually had some freezing temperatures there. Pretty crazy. Good stuff though. And of course, my kids are driving me nuts wondering where we're going to have snow again. We already had snow once. Just enough to sled in and have fun in. So now they're wanting to continue on with that. Don't blame them. Good times. So, uh, alright. Do the splash. And for the aftershave balm, I forgot to mention that too. Be doing Kenneth Cole Black. I almost did ProRezo Wooden Spice Balm, which I might do next time, because that one was really close to the profile of this stuff. But the smell of this splash is really good. I like it a lot. And that's one of the fun things. You smell the whiskey in this too. And the tobacco, big time. There's one thing about this hobby too, if you're new, is the, the match mismatching and pairing of stuff. You start learning the scent profiles and what goes well with other things and stuff like that. It'd be a lot of fun. Once you start getting into that, again, there's always something to learn, so. Alrighty. Go ahead and use the bone. All right. We'll probably be calling it good after this. A little bit dried on there. And this just adds a little sweetness to it, kind of cool. I wear the clone too, I really like the clone. I think, uh, I picked that because it topped off. Because there's a, you know, there's the vanilla and there's the rose in it, which is a really kind of hidden behind the other stuff. This makes it, the, the sweetness to that soap come out a little more, I think. 
There we go. Not bad. Skin's always a little irritated after I shave, no matter what I use or how good it is, even if it's a good shave. But not bad. All right. Appreciate everyone watching. Thank you, Jason, for this opportunity. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully this is the first video of many. Happy shaving, everybody. Uh, if you don't mind checking me out, again, it's uh, Cape Cod Wet Shaving on Instagram and uh, same on YouTube. Give me a look. And definitely go to the Razor Company's website. Buy this soap. Give them a shot. They have tons and tons and tons of stuff there. You can take a look at First Line Shaves amongst you know the other artisans that are on there. There's a lot of stuff. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Happy shaving, everybody. Take it easy.